I would say, would you rather not know? You know, tell me you would rather not know what challenges you have than say that, the, you know, pulling the data is going to be so difficult. Um, and then there's validity to the, how challenging the data can be. And, uh, you know, I, I'm never going to debate that. So I would always encourage leaders to, you know, ask yourself, how do you want to eat the elephant? Right? You're, you're not going to change everything at once. So first start with, are you actually collecting real data, race, ethnicity, and, and language? Like, just start there. And how can you make sure that every time a patient presents, you're getting comprehensive, real data on them? Just, just start with that baseline. And after you cross a 70% threshold of accurate, real data, and by accurate, I mean, if a patient presents and you're asking them like, hey, you know, thanks for coming to us today. We really want to make sure we're providing you with the best care possible. And a part of that is sharing your how you identify and your race and culture and ethnicity with us. And if the person says, well, I'm from Detroit, right? Training, it means like, hey, you know, probing and pushing further because you want to get the best information from them and you're comfortable and you're sharing the why. So that, that's one of the reasons why data is going to be important. And after you cross that threshold with collecting accurate real data, then it's like, okay, so what quality metric do we want to start with to make sure that we are actually talking and talking, walking the walk, and everyone is getting great outcomes. Not an aggregate score, you know, but really saying that, sure, there's an aggregate score, but stratify and make sure that everyone is actually getting the best care possible.